Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to my channel. This is the lessons two of our AWS Machine Learning Specializations course. So let's have a, have a quick recap on what we are going to do. And we are going to have an hands-on exercise. And in this hands-on exercise, we will build and train an Amazon's SageMaker models. Um, that is a XGBoost models. Once we have these uh, Amazon SageMaker models, we will then deploy it as an endpoint and test these endpoints. And, and then once we have these endpoints, we will then create a, a AWS Lambda functions to invoke these endpoints to make it difference. And finally, we'll build, deploy, and also test an API gateway that will help us connect or trigger these Lambda functions. Once that Lambda function is triggered, it will then invoke that endpoint to make inference. Ready to go? Let's get started. To make it fun and easy to remember, we just make up a row for each of the Amazon AWS servers. So say for example, our SageMaker is our chef, the Lambda function is our waitress, the SNS is our delivery man. The API scale rate is our receptionist. And in this lessons, we will work with the chef, Amazon SageMaker. So why don't we have an introduction of him? Our chef, the SageMaker. This is a fully managed machine learning service hosted by the Amazon. With SageMaker, with our chef, we can quickly view train machine learning models and also deploy them into a production ready hosted environment. There are four ways that we can build and train and deploy on a SageMaker. That includes the notebook instant, the script mode, the Docker containers, and also AWS machine learning marketplace. So in this case, the notebook instance is like a platform as a service solutions. AWS provide an integrated Jupyter Notebook instance to us, and we just need to we not need, we need to worry about the servers. We do not need to manage the servers. We just need to take care of the applications and also the data. On the other hand, for the script mode and also the Docker container mode, it's more like a, a infrastructure as a service solutions. AWS will provide their managed uh, containers in script mode. On the other hand, we can also bring our own Docker containers uh, in the Docker container mode. And in both cases, we have more control over the resources. We need to know up the image, then build our own model. And finally, the marketplace is like a software as a service solutions. And um, it provides a marketplace, it provides machine learning solutions and allow us to leverage on the solutions and use them right away. And in this project, we will focus on using the notebook instance, which is a machine learning compute instance provided by Amazon that allow us to run the Jupyter Notebook applications. And just like what I mentioned, AWS will help us to manage and create the instance and also related sources. What we are doing here is that we can focus on building the Jupyter Notebook instance to prepare, to process the data, train, to build, and deploy our model. And in this lesson, we will be the chef. We'll create a notebook, we'll train the notebook, and we will then Create the model. First of all, let's log into the AWS Management Console. When you're building your model, you also need to set up a AWS account and credit card. Many of the, of the resources are free. For your quick reference, uh, this entire project just take me a few cents to build and deploy its stock price predictions applications. So if you do not have your own account, please do not worry. You can 
continues to follow, still I would highly recommend you to create one that is much more easy for you to get familiar with the AWS cloud service. Uh, let's get back to the AWS management con console uh, ending page. Over here, you can see all the AWS surface. So what we're going to do is that we are going to launch the Amazon Sage Maker service. And find it over here. Machine learning part. Not have one or we this surface. Just click on the Amazon Sage Maker service. This will bring you up. And this is your dashboard. See here, we share the data, we can build the data, and we can bring into the hyperparameters and bring up the models. And finally, we can deploy and also manage our endpoints. What we need to do is to go over this notebook, then click on the notebook instance. This is the notebook instance that I've already created for this project. So just ignore it at this point. And let me show you how to create an instance for your own project. Over here, you can see there's an orange button, create notebook instance. Just click on it. Because the Amazon SageMaker will provide the pre fully managed notebook instance, that allow us to run the Jupyter Notebook. That means we do not need to worry about the infrastructure or the resources behind the scenes. So here, let's go through each of the few. For the notebook instance, you need to provide a instant name, say for example, testing. And for the notebook instant type, and choose different types based on your usage. For me, I just use the minimum one and, uh, and use the default. For the e elastic inference, this will allow us to speed up our deployment. So uh, if you want to know more, please feel free to click on the link and it directs you to the document. So you can see that uh, with the elastic uh, inference, it and speak up the real time inference from the models deployed with the use of uh, Amazon SageMaker models. And then for the platform identifiers, here there are two versions, and I'm using the version two. So I will select the version two over here. So, what is the version one and version two? Let's take a look over here. Because Amazon, the, or the SageMaker will provide you the SDK version 1 or the SDK version 2. SDK version 1 or SDK version 2. So in that case, you identify which versions that you would like to use. In our case, our example, we are going to use the version 2. And if you are and if you switch it to version one, then you need to use the code provided by this SDK version one. What I'm using is version two, so I can stick to this SDK version two codes provided over. So this is the first critical things that you need to sign. The next critical point that I would like to mention is the permissions. So AWS provide a IAM role, and this is the service to manage the identity, also the XX management. So with this IAM role, we can specify who can access which resources, which service, and also the resources under what kind of conditions. So in this case, this is that um, the IAM role within here is that um, 
because this notebook instance requires a permission to link it with the S3, that is the storage surface. So that we need to create a row um, to, identif uh, to identify how we can access this S3 bucket. So for example, we can create a new row over here. Say for example, if you want this SageMaker, allow it to access to any S3 bucket. So you can just click on any S3 bucket. On the other hand, if you want it to just access to a specified S3 bucket, and you can just click on it and apply a name to it. And for our example, I allow it to access, access to any S3 bucket. So just in that case, just create this row. This row has been done. And finally, and create your notebook instance once you set up the parameters. And it will take you a few minutes. So, so I'm not going to create this notebook instance. Instead, I will just use the existing one. Once you create your notebook instance, you will find that the status is now in service. That means you can take actions to open a Jupyter Notebook or to open a Jupyter Lab to build your model. But once you finish building up your model, you can just click on it and then take actions and stop this notebook instance. But for, for this one, now what we're going to do is to open this Jupyter. So now we have a Jupyter Notebook under the AWS environment. We can upload our existing Jupyter Notebook or we can create a the notebook and in our example we use the condor python 3 creates a new jupyter notebook so it depends on your usage you can just use the pytorch you can use the tensorflow and so and so there are some existing notebook requirements that you do not need to install them again and once you create your new notebook it's like this example that is condor python 3 once you create your new notebook you can then click on it i will provide this xgboost based stock price predictions notebook in github so you can download it and have some minor changes to build your own model. So let's take a pause here and in the next lessons we will go through the details of this notebook. See you in the next video. Bye bye.